The Disorderly Girl The Proud Girl Augusta turns with haughty grace from gazing on her pretty face, proud of her dress of ample spread, all gay with bows of brightest red, of golden locket, tiny chain, of rosy bouquet, she is vain. Alas, that air of pride spoils all, vexation waits her at the ball. The charm most sure all hearts to please is simple, unaffected ease. Small chance of love has that poor elf, whose thoughts are centered all in self. The Meek Girl In the old church pew, little Mary stands, reading from the prayer book, open in her hands. How God loves the humble, how he helps the weak, putteth down the mighty, raiseth up the meek. And her sweet voice stealeth very low and clear, in each verse responsive on the listening ear. Meekly thus she standeth, in the holy place, a lily in God's garden, clothed with meekest grace. The Neat Little Girl Fresh as any daisy, smiling in the sun, looks sweet little Katie, now her toil is done. Neath the porch's roses, while the bee flits by, sits the little maiden, working quietly. Very neat her feet look, very smooth her hair. Cleanliness is beauty, it makes Katie fair. The Disorderly Girl For order Sarah does not care. Her battered hat, her tangled hair, at once her careless ways reveal, nor her shortcomings does she feel. But skip amidst her idle friends, from midday sun till twilight ends. Ah, Sarah, by and by you'll wish you had not wasted time like this, but learned to brighten future days a modest maiden's quiet ways. The Inattentive Scholars that is a pretty cap to wear, such a disgrace I could not bear, if I were little Jim. And yet the boys who sit behind, no warning in it surely find, but seems to copy him. One eats an apple over his book, another squints with stupid look, up at unlucky Jim. Two in the other corner play, a tit-tat-too, a pretty way, their master's praise to win. The end.